Hello and welcome to my playthrough for Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are here where we can get some Mandrake Root as I have been working my way through my grinding list. Yes, I put together a list of just the things that I need to do for grinding. And somebody mentioned to me that you could buy gems at Buc Buccaneer's Den. If you remember, that's where we left off the last episode. And I was able to buy a bunch of gems. I'll show you that in a little bit. We are in the middle of item number two, stocking up on Mandrake. So that's why we are where we are. If we take a look at our stats, we can see, uh, actually I'm going to go to the end here, but we can see what I did last time. We still have that bow to get rid of, that magic bow. But I bought 99 gems. That's the most it will allow you to have is 99 gems. And so I thought, let's let's get them all. So we can use those to peer at when we're in the dungeon. That's the whole point of this grinding list is to get all the resources we need so that we can go into the dungeons one more time and get everything we need. Um, so more on the dungeons later. So we're going to... Uh, as I'm going through this grinding and getting the um, the mandrake, as you can see, we've, we're at 37 mandrake right now and 32 uh, nightshade. Um, and I want to do, I, I want to get that up to 99 as well. Uh, and that way we can uh, be, uh, that way we can mix stuff on the go if we need to and we have everything we might possibly need. So it might be a bit of overkill, but I think I'm okay with that. So what I'm planning on doing while we are doing this doing this uh, grinding is I'm going to go through, I've got a bunch of feedback sitting out there, stuff that has been sent to me via email or YouTube comments, and we're just going to go through it. And I'm going to, uh, I'll respond as best I can um, for that. Hey, we found some more Mandrake root. Awesome. Uh, and we already have three people that are poisoned. Yeah, it won't take too long before we're all poisoned. But uh, actually, we have four people that are poisoned. Wow. Um, so let's get into that. So I had an email comment from Gary who wrote on uh, episode 64, The Whirlpool of My Dreams. That's when we found out, found the whirlpool so we could get the cove. I'm inspired by this episode to give up playing and just live vicariously through your playthrough. I missed so much when I was in Cove, I wonder what else I've missed. Anyway, glad you finally got the whole Whirlpool experience. Looking forward to the next episode. Yes, I got to experience the whole darn thing. Um, yeah, as a reminder, we can only get Mandrake Root at this location when it is full uh, uh, new moons, I guess it's called. Uh, for both. So we have to sit here through all these cycles. And uh, the, the turn, there is a little time limit to how long you can sit there without a turn. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't think that uh, there's much you can do about that. So unfortunately, that means every time it, it decides, hey, you should have made a move and it does a pass, everybody's going to take a hit. And there's really not much you can do. Everybody that's currently poisoned but it's also another opportunity if you want to call it that for somebody else to get poisoned like iolo just did so now there's five of us poisoned i'm sure it won't take too long uh before um before everybody is poisoned when i was here i was here before before i started recording and that's exactly what happened uh i had everybody poisoned by the end of it and i just have to keep track of mainly jana with her lower health and maybe throw a heal spell in there sooner or later it doesn't seem to make much sense to be giving out cure spells because it's just they're going to get poisoned again but you know each each time we do a a, a pass or we do something it's only taking a couple, three, four hit points at a time. So it's not like it's a, it's a big drain, but it is a drain. And so I just try to keep an eye on Jana. If she drops below, you know, uh, 200, then I'll, I'll, I'll probably give her a heal spell kind of thing just because I don't want her to get too, too bad off. Okay, let's look at another piece of feedback. This is from uh, uh, episode 65, the final level, meaning that I reached level eight. 
Congrats on getting all eight party members. And if it were possible, I would give you the eight stone. I'm not using it right now. As Gollum would say, sort of, it's a nasty, filthy, tricksy stone. And one guess with the word, Geronimo, yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking about the... That can't be right, can it? <laughs> that can't be right. What is that, the word of power, I think it is? Or the word of entrance, I have to I have to look at it. It's been a little bit since I I looked at that thing to see what the Corver Amo. No, it can't be. All right. You trolled me, Gary. You trolled me. All right. I own up to that. I hadn't looked at it in a while. All right, another piece of feedback. Um, and we're finding more mandrake root. So uh, each time we find mandrake root, I've noticed we tend to get anywhere between you know, three to seven pieces of mandrake root. It's tough to tell. Uh, it doesn't, obviously it doesn't tell us. Uh, so, you know, I do like to check occasionally and see how much we got, but it's very hit or miss. You can't tell what it's going to be. You also can't tell when we're going to get it. You know, there's been times here where I've been searching and I got nothing. Uh, so, you know, that happens. So let's see what we got now. I'm a, we're up to 53. We were like 39. So I think we found it three times there. So not doing too bad. We're halfway to our goal. Uh, so, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So this comment from Gary on episode 66, Nightshade. I was not expecting you get that much Nightshade, but how great is that? I second the comment on the YouTube channel about the wheel. It does work, but only when you have one. Yep. And I do have the wheel now, so that's good. Um, that's fair. Oh. Okay, there we go. Everybody's poisoned. I told you. It would take a while, but <laughs> everybody would be poisoned. And that's exactly where we are. All right, another comment from Gary. These are all my email comments, and then I'll go to the YouTube comments. I was posting these. I have a website because I have a podcast, and I have books that I have written that uh, the podcast that the website supports the website in case you haven't heard about it is penslinger.com. And I was cross posting um, this uh, series to that website. I've since stopped that because it seemed like it made more sense for everything to be on YouTube for the video instead of having, you know, it split between YouTube and my, and my, uh, and my site. So I probably have a, I have a link there. I do have a, a page for Ultima four. I probably need to update it since I made that decision. But, uh, but, but yeah, I mean, if you ever want to see my other stuff that I have out there, then go to pen slinger, just like it sounds pen and then slinger.com. Easy peasy. Uh, and apparently I did, um, I did a, uh, uh, spear magic helmet reference, from Bugs Bunny fame, because Gary writes me, Oh, Boonhilda, you are so love we. You know you should have done the same with your reference to that cartoon also. I don't remember how I did that, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm glad that I amused you. Uh, and then he says, Glad you finally found out about the wheel. I never leave port without it. Nope, it's in my permanent... Permanent inventory. All right. So as you can see, it's a lot of just sitting around, and that's one reason why I thought that doing a getting through my feedback, and because I'd thought about should I do a grinding and feedback episode? I probably could have been doing it long before now, but I haven't. Um, and I'm not going to go through every piece of feedback I've ever received. But I am going to go back a, a fair bit. Like my emails were going all the way back to April. That's how long I, it's been since I've done anything with it w with them here. And I'm going to go back a few months on the YouTube ones as well. All right. Yeah. So I I I, I had this grand idea here. I thought I'd try it out um, of going in the stats because here's what I noticed: if you're in stats then you're not getting those pass, passes happening and you're not taking hits on your hit points. But the moons are still moving. I'm a little concerned because since I started doing this practice, I'm not finding anything. Like here you can see, the last time I searched, 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 nothing is there. So I'm a little concerned about this, but 
I, I'm, I'm giving it a go and see what happens. And then as we get close to the double new moons and I get out of it, um, everybody takes a hit and then we can search. Oh, I did, we did find some Android crew, but I'm, I'm concerned because a lot in this game seems to be predicated upon um, number of turns, you know, like, like uh, holding up and camping. It seems to be a, a, a number of turns, you know, from the last time until the, you know, this time to say whether or not it's going to be, we're only up to 56. Holy crap. Yeah. We are getting a lot, you know, to, to say whether you're going to get any any good positive results out of that hole up and camping, and so a lot a lot of stuff seems to be based on. I'm expecting, or the game is expecting, X number of turns, uh, and I probably could look up like for the hole up and camp. I could probably look up and find out exactly how many turns have to happen. I've I've never done that, um, and probably the same thing with man recruit. I mean, I'm guessing, and who knows? It could be a random number. Could be a random number for hole up and camping as well. But I'm concerned by using the stats thing here. Yeah, I'm protecting our health a little bit, but I'm worried that I'm, you know, less, there's like three or four less turns that are being taken. And I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that that's going to minimize how quickly we're going to find the Mandrake route. So I don't know how long I'm going to stick with this, but those are my concerns. We'll see how they, how they, uh, how they play out here. Let's see what happens here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, so see. I'm going to try to get some of our health back here by hold up and resting. And we're going to go on to another piece of feedback. Episode 69. Yeah, no effect. So, yeah, not enough not enough turns of turns of happen. All right. So, episode 69, the legacy of the HMS Cape. Gary writes, glad you have the wheel now. You're, I'm glad too. I, I found it very helpful, and having seen that pirate cove, know it will come in handy. When that bit about the four cities of courage came up, what reminded me that someone asked if I knew how many ci cities follow the virtue of truth. My notes show that person was at the Lyceum. I wonder if that is connected to this. That's an interesting thought. I, I, I don't remember that, but maybe I should try to look that person up. And because um, we went, didn't we go all over the Lyceum looking for whoever it was that um, might tell us about the cities? Because I was like, I could have sworn that was the Lyceum we went through. But maybe I'll look for that person. So if I knew how many cities... Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go. I might have to go back there and look at that. I might do it off cam, um, and then if I find it, you know, maybe I'll do one of these things where I record it just in case, and then I'll show you. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to investigate that now. All right. So last search was nothing there. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to uh, not do the. Not do the. Um, the Z1. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but it seems like because everybody is poisoned, it seems like we can get more searches in. Like I have been doing four early on. Um, it seemed like earlier I was only getting three in before the, before the moons uh, shifted. Now I'm getting four and it looks to me like I could have gotten more in there. And I think it's the I think there's a lag because it's got to give us all an individual hit to our hit points because of the poison. I think that slows down the moons. They like stutter or something and we can get more searching in, which is kind of an interesting thought. It's yes, it's a way to cheese the game and I'm okay with a little, with a little cheese. I'm all right with that. It's not all right cheating. You know, I didn't invent this, <laughs> how we take poison. They could have done it where we all took poison in one hit, and then it wouldn't be a be a deal. But they want to do the da, 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 you know down through everybody business. You know that's on them. You know the game developers from nineteen eighty whatever. Uh, not on me. <laughs> and if I can take advantage of it, then I will take take advantage of it. 
So we're coming up here on the new moons. And uh, let's see what we're going to get here. I'm, 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 I'm hoping we can get going here. There's other things to be doing. And right off we find my Android group. I also wonder is if you once you find Mandrake Root, are you gonna would I find it again on the same search? I don't know that that's the case. I can't think of a time when I found Mandrake Root and then I found Mandrake Root. But at the same time, if it is driven by a number of turns, it still might make sense to search as many times as I possibly can, even though it's affecting our health of the poison, just to eat up some of those turns until we can find the next mandrake root. I'm going to think on that. I might, I might start doing that, but we'll see, but we'll see. All right. Uh, and then my final comment from Gary, um, on episode seven seventy, meditating on valor, which is where I got the onk back. Finally, he says, welcome back to the avatar club. I set your, I kept your seat warm while you were gone. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. All right, so we're getting close once again to to uh, the the new moons happening. And we'll see what happens, what I can find here. I'm also saving Gary's comment to the to the notes section. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's see, what do I get? What do I get? Nothing. And now, yeah, you see, I only got, I got through three that time. Hmm. But you look, it's still double O. I mean, one thing I noticed, I didn't notice that before, before doing this, is that when you hole up in camp, oh, you got healed, good. When you hole up in camp, the moons freeze. Which is interesting. It's the only thing I'm aware of where the moons freeze. Which seems strange to me because everything else, you know, if I'm in, you know, like we were seeing earlier, if I'm in, even in looking at our stats, the moons keep rolling. But for some reason, when you're holding up and camping, that's not the case. And I don't really, don't really understand that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so that finishes my my email feedback. I've got a number um, I've got a number of, of, of feedback going back almost as many months um, or about the same amount of months that's in YouTube. So I'm just going to kind of uh, go through these. Um, and uh, Ultima 4, well, let's see, I don't need to read the whole thing, but episode 69, once again, the legacy of the HMS Cape. Uh, this is from Brian Miller. I, you know, let, let, let me come clean. It's actually, the, the, the profile is actually Brian and Sylvia uh, Miller. I, for all I know, it could be Sylvia that's watching. I mean, it could be in both. I have no clue. I'm making the assumption that most women have better things to do. Ooh, more romantic root. Most women have better things to do than, than listen to me. But <laughs> all right, we're up to 66, so we're we're making some progress. Still seems like it's really slow there. So I don't know. But Sylvia, if it's you been been doing all this time, I apologize if I've been calling you Brian all this time. But all right, so, but they say there are secret passages on each side of Sentry's throne room that take you to the Nixie who lets you know to ask Les Soren about the wheel, and I kind of short-circuited that. I'm not going to bother going going through and doing that. It sounds vaguely familiar, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe I did have that conversation at some point and didn't make a note of it and, and therefore forgot it. Uh, probably because I didn't have a boat, and so I had no... Because we had the last sword, I believe, was, was at uh, Serpent's Castle, and we didn't have any way to get there. So I'm guessing that's the case. All right. Um, also from Brian and Sylvia, uh, on episode 70, Meditating on Valor, you have to use the balloon to get to the white stone. Search the library for the Book of Truth. I did find the Book of Truth in the library. 
Thanks for that tip. And and yeah, the balloon, or as we learned, Blink. All things considered, I, I you know even though Blink took a bit of finagling, I feel like Blink with the view spell or appearing at gems, same basic deal, um, worked pretty well. Yeah, nothing going on the back. I could have gotten more. I need to start doing more than four. I've just I've been in the habit of just when it hits, you know, hit the search button four times. But really, I could go and get more. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just I just keep reacting the same way. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's keep on. I, I got on episode seventy, also meditating on valor. I had Steph Animal that said you're tearing through it now, which was very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then here was a from four months ago uh, on episode 72, a horse called Blissful, after we talked to Blissful. Brian and Sylvia said, the key is found in the dungeons. You have to find all the stones and put them on the altars in the right order. Then you get the key. The candle isn't part of the key. The candle is to enter the abyss along with the bell in the book. The key is to enter the codex chamber at the end of the game. Ask LB about the codex, which I did. I don't know that he told me anything that I hadn't recorded before also check your elevation visions it's important to the questions you're asking these people and that's talking about how they were runes that um you know translated to infinity uh and the, you know the thing was you know once i i translated the runes on the on the map i didn't think too much about you know that there were runes out there and that we had a translation key uh it just wasn't something i thought of oh i did it again darn it so so yeah okay so here we are i'm looking at my reagents um to see you know what i can get where by the way i did find out the buccaneers den sells reagents and for most things, they're more expensive. But for Black Pearl, they were only one credit per, which was the cheapest I've ever seen. And, and it was just off of a hidden doorway I'd never seen. I don't think anybody had ever told me about this. Uh, so, but, you know, it, it was very strange. And so um, while I was there... I spent a little bit of gold and I totally maxed out on black pearl. As you can see, I've got 99 black pearl. So I figured while I was there, let's get them. It was strange. Um, it was strange how expensive everything else was, but you know, it is an Island that that's totally devoid of the other islands. So maybe that's, that's what, you know, maybe that's what I was thinking. And then on episode 73, the silent honk, uh, Bobby, the IT guy, wrote, I wonder what would happen if you ran out of the blink spell at the Silent Auk. Would you be trapped there forever? I believe so. I mean, to get out of there, you would need either a blink, maybe a gate spell. I think the gate spell would get you out of there. But other than that, you're toast. You're just toast, I think. Um, so, yeah, that would have been... Uh, that would have been tough. Um Brian and Sylvia uh, replied to that saying, yep, usually you're supposed to work the balloon into that square. I, I can't even imagine what a pain in the ass that would have been. I know it would have been a pain in the ass for me. I must have been talking about the Bell of the Book, the Candle being the key a lot. Because I got another, on uh, episode 73, which is the sign of Ankh, I got another comment from Brian and Sylvia that said, very good work, but the bell, book, and candle are not the key. Uh, and the key is found in dungeons, as I've said before. You'll find all the stones in the dungeons and place them on the altars in the dungeon altar rooms. Three of them with three combinations each. You've entered a dungeon. You're going, man. That's where the stones are. You have to cast a light spell or ignite a torch. Also, I have lots of gems to find your way. Done. And Y, Z, uh, y up, Z down, and exit spells. Also, on the axiom, interpret the visions from the shrines. This is probably the note. I don't remember. I can't remember these things. But this is probably the note that led me to actually 
go and and, and realize that hey dummy they're runes <laughs> translate them uh so yeah yeah i'm not sure i've got any y up or z down spells made i might have to look at that that might be handy i can see why i need that i know i've got some exit spells yeah okay so i did i got what six there yeah five or six five or six there so so yeah so my intention is is we're gonna do one more my intention is short of you know something happening is we're going to do one more speed lunk into the dungeons and we're going to start in high fluff because that connects to everything else and then we're just going to go and get get all the stones from all of those and go to the altar rooms and do the thing and get the key um i don't see any reason to to attack each one separately when they're connected and they're connected to the altar rooms that we need. Uh, I'm also hoping that for the most part, the stones, because those are down at level eight. So I think we're going to be on the lower levels of all of the dungeons. I'm hoping that the stones are going to be on the lower levels, uh, as opposed to like one, two, three, four, um, so that we can find them quickly. I'm less worried about searching out every single um, nook and cranny of these dungeons, as you'll see, then I am just, let's get the stone, you know, let's, let, let's move the story along and let's get to the point where we can go to the abyss and we can get the codex. So that is my thinking on that. Uh, do let me know if I'm stupid. <laughs> well, <laughs> We know the answer to that. Okay, so we found some mandrake root. Yeah, I'm just going to keep searching a bit. Again, I only did four. That was stupid. Yeah, you can see it's still double double circles there. So, but I did find some mandrake root, so that's good. And again, I haven't I haven't nailed down how many you really need there. Alan A on episode 74 following the lost trail tremor was one of the most important spells you have in late game i played this end to end when it first came out a very long time ago and i still remember that yes i love tremor i will definitely be making more tremor uh i think that's I think that requires Mandrake, if I remember correctly. And uh, so that's one of the reasons why I want to get a bunch of bunch of this stuff. And uh, so that I can, um, yeah, it does require Mandrake root. So that's going to be very important uh, for that. That's one of the, you know, I've had some good, good luck with Jinx, but I've also had some, you know, like our last holding up and camping, no effect with Jinx, where it doesn't really seem to do anything, whereas Tremor works all the time. So I still might get some Jinx. Um, so like if uh, the Gremlins especially, so that maybe they won't be able to steal us blind on the food. Um, but I, I like Tremor. I like Tremor a lot, and that's something I want to have a lot of as we descend because I think it's going to be very handy um, for, you know, groups of of um demons and um balrons i couldn't remember what it was okay so what are we can get anything this time we did get something and that was on like the fifth one two three four five i think all right so where are we at right now we were at 79 very nice very nice now the one thing i've noticed um, I noticed this buying the gems is that, and I, and I guess we've seen this, I think we've seen this someplace else, but, but you can't, and like I noticed this when I was buying the black pearl, you know, so certain, certain of these things are only, are only so wide. So like food is four digits, gold is four digits. If we found 10,000 pieces of gold over the, you know, at, at one time, or, you know, we'd accumulated that much. We would only see four nines there. That's as high as it will let us go. And so likewise with the reagents, which are two digits, the highest it will let us go is 99 pieces. So that's what we're shooting for. Um, and, and, you know, that's going to be, um, you 
uh, that's going to be, that's going to be, uh, you know, just something that, uh, I totally lost what I was saying there, but, uh, whatever, I guess I'll just drop it. I'm not going to edit this out. I'm not really editing this because I just want to quickly get it done and get it out to you guys. But, but cause I know it's been a while. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I got looking at the, at the next comment and my brain went dark. All right, so I got like six, five searches there. Got another one in. Yeah, see, I mean, it took, it's almost like as long as I'm searching, <laughs> I could almost do it indefinitely as long as I keep pressing that key because I got six there and it was there was still a little bit of time with, with double new moons. So still no effect on the hole up in camp. I'm confused about that. Uh, I'm going to have to do something about, about Jana soon. In fact, I'm going to do something about Jana right the heck now. All right. Yeah, I don't like it when she's below 200 because it's too likely that I'm going to phase out, phase out my attention and, and not, not know, not notice that she's down to 40 health or something and, and she dies. And I don't want to deal with that. And then on episode 75, Magic Bows and the Black Stone. He says, ha ha, when you were waiting, he or she or they say, when you were waiting for that moon gate, I'm like, it's right there, it's right there. Best weapon I've found for Katrina is the flaming oil, Vesper. She can't use magic weapons, but she can wield the mystic sword, though. If you do so, all your mystic swords, they regen at Empath Abbey. You can get peering gems at Buck's Den, which I did, which are way better for viewing the light out of dungeons. You don't want to waste your mandrake and nightshade. You can also get torches there, which save your sulfurous, your sulfurous ash on light spells. Eh. Also, Bucks has nosebleed prices on all very agents of like Black Pearl, which I've noticed. Good luck on the dungeons. That's the only thing left to do. You can get to them through level 8 on High Fluff. Yep. And go on six individual quests. Or go, yeah, or go on six individual quests for the surface entrances, depending on how much you want to play. The ultra, room, the ultra rooms are accessible at all, all level 8 on High Fluff. Yes. And I've recorded that. Last time, uh, we were we were at, we were at High Fluff, um, so I did get the peering gems, and I I actually found that that the light spells they lasted a really long time, and they only take like one sulfurous ash to make, so they're really super duper cheap. So yeah, I'm I think I'm I think I'm okay with with that being um, like it is. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm gonna use those instead of torches. Cause I used a torch. I had bought some torches uh, from Vesper once. And then when we went to High Floth, they burned out, I, I felt like relatively quickly. Um, but when I used the light spell, it lasted a long time. So I, I'm just planning on dealing with the, with the light spell and not wasting any money on the, um, on the torches. Um, yeah, and I found out about about Black Pearl there. And uh, and I know you get to th through level eight. Yep, yep, yep. So um, yeah, that's that is that's what we're prepping for here. So we just found some Mandrake root. Um, we only had 20 to go. So probably only need like Couple three more, and then we'll be in good shape. Let's see. And then I'm gonna think about what it is I need to make. And you know, I'm I'm halfway tempted to mix those here. I could have kept going. I'm an idiot. Uh, to mix those here and then top up, w top up the mandrake again, uh, so that. So that you know, I've got a whole bunch of spells, and um, I've also got uh, you know a, a full larder, if you will, of mandrake root. Let's continue with the uh, comments. Um, M. Manzella wrote. Uh, on episode 75, Magic Bows and the Black Stone. Wow, I finally caught up to real time. I've been watching this episode series for two or three months now. Played this game on the C64 when it first came out with my brother. Such a milestone RPG. Great nostalgia watching you play through all these quests again. 
From what I remember, without being a huge spoiler, you might want to see if other magically attuned members of your party can equip the magic wand. You'll clear out a lot of battles a lot faster now. Grab some torches and hit a dungeon. Yep, that's next. Uh, so, thank you for that. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Uh, you know, Shamino can cast spells. He's got a fair amount of magicka. Um, I don't remember how much, but... Uh, uh, I know he's got a fair amount. And so that's a thought. I mean, right now he's got the magic bow, so he's already got a magic range attack. So I don't know if that's... I mean, because that wasn't cheap. Um, so I don't know. I'll think about that. Yeah, look at this. I keep going. I don't know how many I got there, but I got a lot. So where are we at? Whoops, went too far. Come on. We're at 88. Beautiful. So we are almost there. All right. Jana needs some more health. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can finally get some health here and um, hold up in camp. I mean, the last two times I've tried to do this here, it's been... Okay, we've been getting no effect, but finally we got some healing going, which is good for everybody else. Iolo is back up to full health. Um, other people are close. All right, let's see where we're at with our... We're at 88 still. Wow, we haven't found any more since the last time we checked. That's ridiculous. I could have sworn we found some, but what the heck do I know? All right, so uh, there's been some comments from Brian and Sylvia and from Bobby the IT guy, which are which are you know like how are you doing on the dungeons? Any update this week? And yeah, I've been dark for quite a while. And what happened was the end of November, I got um, a stomach bug on the Friday of uh, Thanksgiving, Friday night, and that knocked me on my butt for a couple weeks. And then just as I was coming out of that. About three weeks before Christmas, I got COVID. And uh, so I had to deal with that. And then the Christmas holidays hit. And, you know, it's just been real tough getting back into the swing of of doing this and doing other things that I should be doing and want to be doing, I guess. And so, yeah, so I apologize for that, that it's been so long between episodes, but I'm, I'm hoping to get back onto a regular schedule uh, and maybe even get some in a can so that I can, I can continue doing that. I'm going to still plan on the every other week schedule. Hey, we found some more mandrake root. Awesome. So whenever this hits, you can be expecting. I'm still going to predominantly stick to Fridays, although this one I'll be putting out as soon as I get it done. Um, but then two Fridays after that, you should hopefully have another one, which is probably going to be another grinding episode. I don't know that I'm going to have any more, any more feedback to go through, but just to continue doing my grinding, and you guys can watch or not as you see fit. Um, I probably won't be doing more too much else other than grinding. I certainly won't be going into the dungeon on those. Um, I might go to Lyceum after that one comment from Gary earlier, but, uh, but yeah. So that's what's going on with me. I apologize for my long absence, um, but that's, that's the, uh, the reality of the situation. Okay. On episode... Somebody going way back to episode 18. There's, and that's one thing that's kind of cool is I do see comments from people that are just starting up on this discovery, voids of discovery, which is cool. Um, uh, so this is from Ovaltine. It said, according to the walkthrough, you gain nothing by letting evil creatures flee. And killing them gains you plus one honor and plus one valor. But for non-evil enemies, even fighting them loses you five compassion and three justice and three uh, honor. I haven't, I haven't looked that deeply into it. That's interesting. Underplaying the reagent, underpaying the reagent seller gets you minus 10 honesty, minus 10 justice, and minus 10 honor. And boy, I did that for quite a bit. Boy, I'm getting... Oh, there we go. Drop some. Drop some. Okay, that's interesting. Are we at the max then? We are at the max. Excellent. All right, so now we're going to have to look to see what spells it is we need to mix reagents for. And the other thing that's nice about the mixed spells, it kind of puts us in pause. So let's look at this. 
I definitely want to do make sure we have enough gate travels. Um, ice ball, I don't know that I'm really all that interested in ice ball. I'll probably do some jinx. I'm not going to deal with the kill spell because I don't want it to muck with our avatar hood, uh, even though we easily could. Um, maybe if we can still do things after we finish the game, maybe I'll come back and, and do a nightshade, do a kill spell just to see what happens. I don't know. Negate, I think that would be good to have because that'd be good for the bow runs. So I'll probably make a few negates. Uh, tremors, I want to have a good supply of. Um, and then view, I'm not going to bother with because I have 99, I've got 99 um, different um, uh, uh, gems. Wow, sorry, could not come up with that word. Uh, so that was that was interesting. You get plus. So so uh, I was reading Ovaltine's comment about getting minus ten honesty, justice, and honor. If you underpay, you get uh, positive two of each by paying the proper price. You get plus three honesty only by paying extra. That's interesting. I've never I've not looked deeply enough into it to see the mechanics, but I find that I find that interesting. Okay, so I made some more gate spells. I don't need a ton of gate spells, um, you know. So. That's fine. I, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some some jinx here, just because I do think there are times when jinx would be handy. Um, maybe like ten or fifteen. I guess I'll go with fifteen here. Just I don't know. It seems like a good number to have. It, it, ten or something just seems like it. It goes awfully fast. So, but thank you for that comment, Overteen. Uh, I, 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 that's been my experience too. That, that, well, we gain nothing by letting evil creatures flee, and if we have a chance to catch them, I will. But the reality is, is that unless you are ranged and you're lined up, you're not going to catch them anyway. It's rare that, that, um, one will decide not to flee and come back at you. So for what it's worth, that's been my experience on that. Uh, every now and then it happens, but for the most part, if they're fleeing, they're going to get the heck out of Dodge. So, oh, I screwed that up. What did I do wrong? CHA, that's the problem. Okay, so I'm working on some negate spells here. Getting that up. I don't know what I'm going to want to have for those. We'll just keep going. Um... I'm getting kind of low in nightshade, and uh, I'm already down to 80 on Mandrake. And probably what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm still standing here in the poison. We're still all poisoned. Uh, you notice I just have eight cure spells, so I can poison everybody once with what I have. Or cure everybody once, poison everybody once. So I'm probably going to... Um, I'm probably going to uh, cure, I'll, I'll wait until we're totally done and then I'll cure everybody. And then I'm obviously gonna have to make more cure spells. So yeah, yeah, that's where we're at there. All right, so what am I, I'm up to 15 in the gates. Probably good enough. Um, so now tremors. I want a lot of tremors. I don't have any going right now. Um, so, So Tremor needs Ash, Blood Moss, and Mandrake. Um, I screwed that up. What did I do? A, E. Oh, it's H. I'm doing M because I'm an idiot. There we go. Finally got my poop in a group as, as it goes. Um, Ovaltine comes back also on episode 21, Funnel of Death. He says, there are only a few non-evil creatures in all our animals. Giant rat, python, seahorse, insects, giant bats, and giant spiders. So, yeah. Anything that's not magical, um, basically, or, or outside of the canon of, of, of real animals, as we know them here in life on Earth, are, are the non-evil, or are evil. And then on episode six... 
uh, which was titled Inadvertent Prison Break. Maybe if you ask the druid about the shrine instead of tape tr- typing shine. Well, Grendel824, <laughs> if you're looking for accuracy in typing, sorry, it may not work well for you. I'm, uh, see, so, yeah, yeah, I know. I worry about that because I'll see that when I'm editing and I'll go, oh, geez, I, you know, did they have something to tell me and I didn't see it? because I'm mistyping stuff. Okay, so I think that's all the spells. We've made all the spells that use Mandrake that I want to have. So I've got my quiver full, pretty much, as as you will, at least as far as spells that require Mandrake. Um, So that's, that's really good news. That's really good news. All right, but I, now I need to replenish, I think, while I'm here. We're already poisoned. And, you know, look at this. I can just keep going and going and going. This is the cheesy bit. I can still go. So I don't, I'm getting like 10 or 13 or something like that. It really, you know, the poisoning business really lengthens it out, I think. And I can just get a lot more searches in, which should help us get back up the snuff pretty quick. I mean, he used up almost half my Mandrake. That's crazy. We're down to 54. We're almost like where we started at the beginning of the episode. Almost. We were like at 30-something. So we, we're doing better than that, but not a whole lot better than that. All right. Um, and then on episode 7, don't hit me, bro. Grendel comes back and says, isn't Beh, B-E-H, the mantra? Yeah, I was kind of stupid about mantras back in the single digit days. Uh, so, you know, I, I didn't, and I probably wasn't keeping super good notes on the mantras back then. Um, not like the note system I have now. Um, so, so yeah. And then this is just eight, eight days ago. Uh, somebody commented on episode one. Consider this. Uh, with Stan Galoski, uh said, I bought that game new. Played endless hours. Uh, thank you, Stan. Thanks for watching. If you make it this far to episode, I think this is 76. Um, I appreciate you, you checking it out. Holy crap. Now, now I, I got to wonder, did, did, did Stan... Did Stan um, watch the whole series, or did he just skip ahead? Because one day later, I have uh, have another comment from Stan on episode 75, which is the last one I've produced. <laughs> it says, you know you can fire the ship's cannon at monsters on shore, then get the treasure. You can then stay one space for them so you don't have to fight. Yes, I am aware of that. I've, I've done it. Sometimes I don't bother. Um, but yes, I am aware of that, that you can fire on them. Um, it depends on really whether I want to land there or not. If it's just I'm trying to get around a, a particular piece of land or whatever, and, and I'm not really interested in going to shore, then I probably won't. Then I probably won't bother with that, you know. But if it's something where I'm trying to get to shore and there's a bunch of baddies there, unless I'm really in need of gold, which I really am not right now, um, I might go ahead and go ahead and uh, do that. But uh, yes, I do know that. So thanks. Thanks for that comment, though. Pretty much appreciate it. So I have found a little bit of Mandrake. Um, I'm going to have to give Jana a health spell soon. She's at 208. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping we can find this fast and we can be done with Mandrake. That would be really great if that could happen. Um, but we'll see. You know, the, how how um, cooperative the game feels like being. But watch this. That's two, that's three. I found Mandrake root. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So eleven there. And if you notice, while it's doing the the poison hits, so let's see where we're at here. Oh, I'm getting yeah, that's right, I'm healing. Um, as I'm doing the poison hits, the C pauses. 
the the move the movement of the waves pauses and i think the moon's pause but that's a little tougher to see wow we haven't been we haven't been disturbed in our in our sleep in quite some time that's interesting how did you make it to this little island orcs and trolls it's a uh, interesting question but let's take them out we can do that we're all awake now what's sad about this is we aren't going to get any effect from this um so we'll have to do it again but but you know we haven't killed any orcs in a while so i guess we just need to to do it uh once again the rocks are just kind of a pain in the butt you'd hope that magic bows could shoot over rocks or through rocks even they're magic right that would be nice but such is not the case and uh, of course we have the guy with the sword um yeah right now it's joffrey and katrina that have mystic swords everybody else has a bow a magic bow except for me i have the magic wand um and the reason for that is katrina can't use magic weapons or she can't use a bow i think uh, and Joffrey can't use a bow because Katrina is like a shepherd. So she can use a sling, you know, so if there's like a magic sling or something, I might do that. But I don't, I don't think she's got any magic. I'd have to look at her stats. It's been a little while. Um, I don't think she's got any, any magical ability. So I, I doubt she could use the wand. And, you know, like I said, those things are expensive as heck. And of course, we're busy on well, that orcs fleeing. See, like this is the, you know, like talking about the fleeing animals. You know where he is right now. We don't have a line on him if he's fleeing south. Now we could easily get one because I think that Shamino could move over and get lined up with him, and he probably will. I came down instead of to the east. Oh, and then that caused him to shift that way. Well, that works out well. That works out well. Come on, Julia. Barely wounded. Wow, that troll's got some health. All right, that guy's done. So now it's just Julia and her troll. Although I might send Shamino down to help out. Because he's barely wounded. He's taking two hits and he's barely wounded. So I'll send Shamino that way. The rest of us are just going to have to wait. Because by the time we got into any kind of position, this fight's probably going to be over. It doesn't help when you miss, Julia. It really doesn't. All right, come on. Let's get the come on, Julia. Your last chance on your own. There you go. All right. We also don't get gold. <laughs> so really, it's it, yeah. You know, other than I guess we get to to keep our our um you know our, 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 our keep up with uh with what we're doing with our our keep our weapons loose. Uh, it doesn't really give us much. Okay, so while we're waiting for the moons to finish their cycles, we're almost through the feedback. So that's really great. So, uh, and the last couple are from Grendel824, walking his way through the older episodes. I appreciate your diligence and your... Um, your uh, resistance to, you know, your, your willingness to listen to me blather for, for hours at a time. Is there any penalty for killing an enemy that is retreating? I remember thinking so only in the go until several went back to attacking after fleeing, but I don't remember if there are any consequences but or if it was worth the extra treasure. I've not seen a direct... First of all, I haven't seen we get any penalty for killing an enemy that's retreating. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt us... Uh, oh, we got some more Mandarin. It doesn't hurt us from an avatar perspective that I've ever seen. Um, so, and it doesn't really hurt us because it's not like, it's not like, uh, and we got another Mandarin. It's not like we got, um, you know, they're still going to be there. You know, that whatever the, the icon on the map, they're gone. You know, so they're really gone. So, and I don't think there's, we're up to 79 on Mandrake. That's good. I don't think there's this, you know, that that's going to cause somebody else to be there sooner. I'm going to try to rest again here. Hopefully, maybe this time we'll get all the way through. So I don't know. And I also don't know that if we meet up with a bunch of enemies 
Uh, oh, we got healed. Perfect. I don't know that that would give us, and we killed them all. I don't know that that would give us more gold than if some fled. You kind of think it might because there's more pockets to rustle, to rustle through. I haven't seen anything that gives me a direct correlation on that to be able to say, yeah, yeah, it's better to kill them all because then you get more money. The money, the amount of gold you get, to me, still seems very random. Um, so, uh, uh, you know. I don't know if anybody can, has any any stats that could tell me something different on that, but just from my experience playing the game, still seems super duper random to me. So, for what it's worth, that's my two cents. And then on episode ten, Fair Julia from Minoc Grendel eight two four says, "Chanting druids will tell you the mantra." Avatar, hey, chanting druid, what is the mantra? And then ba ba ba. What? I asked you a question, Drew. What is the mantra? That was kind of my reaction. Bad, bad, bad. This is useless. Come on, you fool. Tell me the mantra. You know, a one-syllable nonsense word probably two or three letters long. Just tell me. Drew it. Bad, bad, bad. Avatar gives up. Yeah, that was kind of me. <laughs> that was kind of me, you know? I was just like, are you ever going to tell me? What are you going on about with this bad, bad, bad crap? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I, I gotta own that one because I, I remember back then I was just like, I'm looking all over for, you know, somebody tell me the mantra is, and then not getting it. And then it took me a while to figure out that, oh, <laughs> it's probably the druid. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, not my not my best moment there as far as as far as what I want to do as as far as uh, you know showing my intelligence. Uh, as far as getting more nightshade, I do want to get more nightshade because we used up a bunch of it. Um, nightshade, I've come to realize, is of less use. Uh, it's it's used in the night. Sh it's new. Wow, sorry. It's used in the jinx spell, so that is a good use for it. It's used in the kill spell, which I'm not going to do. Um, and it's used in the view spell, which I'm not going to bother with because I've got 99 gems, and if I run out, if I run out in the in the dungeons and I can always craft some I've got mandrake root and I've got I'll have nightshade that would be probably be the only reason that that and if I felt like I had to do more jinx in the dungeons um more mandrake root excellent um so yeah I mean I will probably still go and 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 max up my nightshade Fortunately, when we do that, we know of a spot to get it that's not in the, you know, swamp of death. Uh, so that'll be a little bit easier, and we won't have to deal with all the the poison sounds, which do get old after a while, um, I will say. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I realized as I was working on those spells, ooh, 98, so we need one more thing of Mandrake, and, and we'll be done. Perfect. Let's get that done, and then we can close out shop here for today. Um, you will see I've got two ships here. Um, yeah, at one point when I was before this recording, um, a, a pirate came, and I fought him and beat him. <laughs> and so I now have two ships. I don't know what use that's really going to be because I don't need two ships here and I can't really get to it once I leave this island but I'm guessing if I ever have to come back here and get more mandrake uh, and like a pirate comes and shoots one ship I'll have a backup since presumably I would sail here in another ship to get to this island so All right, so just one more thing, a mandrake, and we can be done. We can cure everybody of the poisoning, uh, and then I might, I might do a, a bit more, um, kind of use up what what reagents I have to make the other spells, the non, 
the non, uh, the ones that don't use Mandrake or Nightshade and, and stock up on what I can, you know, just to, uh, just to get that down because, in, oh, there we go. Mandrake root and drop some. So that should do us. That should do us. We should have 99 Mandrake and we do awesome sauce. You see, John is down to 178. So it's been getting real. Okay, so obviously we're going to start with Jana. Um, so we'll do her first. All right, and next we're going to cure probably Joffrey. Yes. And I don't know, after that, everybody's got so much health. I might just, just to make things easy on me, I might just go numerically. Because these all are about the same. There's no, not much sense picking and choosing. So we're down to just three. And then it's Shamino and me. Are the last two. All right. And I'm out of cure spells, so I'm going to have to do more cure spells. Let's see if we can rest and get some health back that way. Um that would be beneficial. Once again, I don't know if enough time has passed. No effect, so apparently not, which is unfortunate, but that's that's the game. So I'm going to heal Jana, get her up a little bit more. So that's good. Um, and then I think, yeah, let's look at mixing some of those spells um, that I don't have. So obviously, you know, there's no cure spells. So let's get some of those cures are garlic and ginseng. So let's just make a bunch of those. And uh, we'll get have those. I mean, there are in the dungeons, there are poison energy fields. Um, we do have some dispels. Yeah, we have 12 dispels. And that would be used for getting rid of an energy field. Um, so that would be that would be good. You know, so we could hopefully avoid a lot of those. But just in case, I think it would be good to have, I don't know, maybe maybe three or so cures for um for everybody, although I am running very low on garlic. So I'm probably going to max out here and just take it all. And, uh, but I'd like to get like 30, at least 32. And that would give me three cures per um, team member or party member. So that would be good. Yeah. So now I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Took me a minute to realize that. All right. So. So I'm gonna do Alright, we're trying to sleep here. And of course we got ambushed by what are these? Wisps or bugs? I forget. I think these are bugs. And of course not everybody woke up for this. Because I'm trying to, still trying to get our health back. I, you know, we could. I don't know if this would have been a no effect, but no effect now. Oh, they don't. They don't stand up well to the magic wand. That's for darn sure. We'll let that one guy come down, I think, and then we can both take. Oh, those are insects where they're fleeing. They're doing a really bad job of fleeing, and now they're gone. All right. All right. Let's try to hold up and camp. I'm probably going to go ahead and call it an end. Next time we'll continue on the grinding list and uh, see what we can get done on that. Uh, I'd like to get, if I could, get all the way through it. It's going to depend on the nightshade um, and how long it takes us to get that. Uh, well, we didn't, still didn't get any effect. That's annoying. But I will let that be that. I'll be back in your hole soon. Let's do mar let's do mark off that we stocked up on Mandrake. We have done that. So that's awesome sauce. And anyway, I'll be back in your ear hole soon. And until then, be seeing you.